Superior is the GOAT, let's be honest. Such a cool design and a brilliant ability, and it's fast. What more does it need? Today we're running a standard Leaf Storm set with Terror Blast Fire and Dragon Pulse for coverage. And if we manage to get a substitute up, well, it's over. Today's first battle with Superior is against Cal, and this one really demonstrates the power of Superior. So before we jump into the match, if you could Leaf Storm that subscribe button real quick, I'd appreciate it. We're on our way to 15k subscribers, so I'd love for you to be a part of that. And with that out of the way, I present to you all the Superior video. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Cal. So they're going to lead off with Salazzle, which is great for us because we led off with Rotom Wash. So not a bad lead at all um, for us. Now, here's the thing, though. Do they switch out? They probably want, don't want to take a Hydro Pump to the face. I'm looking at their team. Not a lot wants to. The, the Hydrapple is the perfect switch here. So let's go for a Volt Switch, assuming they're going to switch out here. They do withdraw the Salazzle. Are they going to go Hydrapple? That's, that's kind of um, what I'm expecting. So Hydrapple does come in, which is great. Uh, we went for a Volt Switch, which is going to do a little bit of chip. Nothing too drastic. Just a little tiny bit of chip. And then we go on back to me, the Pokeball. So let's see how this plays out. So let's let's go into... Um, I don't want to go into Salazar just, uh, Salazar just yet. The Superior. I could go Salamence, but if they Terror, it's all Ogre. I think our best bet is probably going to be the uh, Ninetales. We can get the Aurora Veil up then as well. So let's go into Ninetales. This probably baits in the Embor or the Bastiodon. And then they can get their rocks up. So that's fine. If they want to do that, that's fine. Um, let's go for a Aurora Veil straight up. Because they're not going to attack us. They're definitely going to switch out here. Or Terra. They do withdraw the Hydrapple, which is great. Uh, what are they going to go into, though? The Bastion? Salazzle comes in. That's actually a perfect counter as well. It resists both stabs. Both its stabs are super effective against me. But we get the Aurora Veil up anyway. And I'm pretty confident that I'm safe to switch here into something else. So, um... I'm leaning towards the Iron Moth, but I don't want to pop the booster energy too soon. They probably go for a Toxic, in which case we could go into Salamence. I think I'll go into Salamence now because obviously they're, they're probably going to go for a Fire type move for a start or a Toxic. And we have the Lumberry, so it won't be that big of a deal if they go for a Toxic. So uh, let's see how this plays out. Salamence comes in. Get the Intimidate off, not that it matters unless they are physical. And um, they go for a Toxic, which is fine. I don't mind the Toxic. Like I said, I've got the Lumberry. So it's not the end of the world. Uh, I'm looking at the team and I'm thinking, you know what? Salamence actually goes pretty hard. Um, so Lumberry is going to cure our poison, which is great. Um, we definitely... They're going to switch out. Let's go for Dragon Dance. They go for another Toxic. That's fine. They're going to put my Salamence on the timer. This tells me they're probably Focus Sashed as well. Um, so getting a Dragon Dance up here is going to be really beneficial for us. So we go for the Dragon Dance, get our boost in attack and speed. And Salamence is looking pretty good right now. Not going to lie. Salamence is looking pretty good. Like, their whole team is kind of weak to Salamence, except from the Hydrapple, which, um, well, it's technically weak to Dual Wing Beat. It's just really bulky. So let's go for a Dual Wing Beat now, because I'm pretty confident if they're Focus Sashed, I'm pretty confident Dual Wing Beat will take them out. Dual Wing Beat comes through. It should two-shot. It does two-shot. It wouldn't have done if we didn't Dragon Dance. And we take out the Salazzle. I had to go for Dual Wing Beat just in case they were Focus Sashed, because I wasn't trying to get hit by a Veno Shock or something. Um, I want to keep my Salamence as healthy as possible. The snow does stop, and the Aurora Veil is still up. Bastiodon comes in. That thing's a threat. So I could stay in and go for an Earthquake. I really could. But if they have Metal Burst, it's all over. Um, I feel like our best bit is Rotom here. Uh, try and trick this thing. I think we'll go Rotom. I think we'll go Rotom. We can still do stuff with Salamence later if we need to. We don't have to just stay in because we've got our dragon dance up so let's go into bosh the rotom wash they go for a foul play that would have definitely taken out uh salamence that's for sure um so that's fine let's go for a i don't think i need my choice scarf really so i'm going to go for a trick here and trick comes through they looks like they have stayed in well they have stayed in they doesn't look like it they have stayed in but to do what what are they what were they planning on doing to my rotom we got a chesto berry they go for a Metal Burst. Oh, it's a Metal Burst set. So they're locked into Metal Burst, which is crazy good for us. Because um, it means I can go into Superior if I want to. Superior does go pretty hard against their team. I think I will go Superior here. Um, I think they're going to expect a Volt Switch. So they're going to go for a Metal Burst again. That's why I have Hard Switch, because I don't want to get the Metal Burst damage on Superior. They could have also switched out as well. No, they went for a Metal Burst. That's fine. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll use this as an opportunity to go for a substitute. We'll get our substitute up and we'll get Superior rolling. So substitute comes through. 
There we go. They've gone for another Metal Burst. They really, really, really were expecting us to attack there. But no, we're not going to attack. I'm going to use this opportunity to set up. Um, so we've, we've made the perfect situation, really, for us. So they have to kind of switch out here. I think. Um, the Aurora Veil does wear off, which is unfortunate. So let's go for a Leaf Storm first and foremost. We may as well, as we do, in fact, miss. Um, so that's great that they stayed in and went for a Metal Burst. Because the miss doesn't punish me, which is great. Absolutely great. However, it does grind through our PP a little bit by one. Um, we do get some leftovers recovery, obviously, which is great. Um, I'm hoping we can actually pull something off here with Superior. That'd be amazing. So let's go for another Leaf Storm. This time we do hit, which is nice. And that's going to do a good amount of damage. Raises our special attack sharply, thanks to Contrary. There's the Metal Burst. That's going to break our sub. But unfortunately, it only breaks the sub. As a substitute does fade. That's great. They they kind of need to switch out here because we're going to get to plus four if they don't switch out, which is unfortunate for them. But I I feel like they're in this position where they don't know what to do. So they do withdraw the Bastard on that. So they've realized, you know what, we can't really do this superior is going to self all over us. And they go into Hydrapple, which is absolutely fine. Hydrapple is a good play. And we go for a substitute here. And that's going to be up pretty much, um, not for good, but like for the longer... Basically, I'm going to go for a Leaf Storm this next turn. If they Terror, they Terror. If they don't, they don't. So I'm going to go for the Leaf Storm. And hopefully this makes them think that we don't have Dragon Pulse. We go for a Leaf Storm. We do actually hit it this time, which is great. Get ourselves to plus four. That does a lot of damage to Hydrapple, I will say. I will say. And hopefully this indicates to them that we don't have Dragon Pulse. They go for a Fickle Beam, which is obviously going to break the sub. Definitely breaks the sub, right? Yeah, Substitute Fades. Now we go for a Dragon Pulse. Now we go for a Dragon Pulse. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Dragon Pulse comes through at plus four. Should take out the Hydrapple, no problem. Down goes the Apple Dragon thing. Hydra. Hydra Apple. Galvantula comes in. This is an interesting choice because it's probably going to be Focus Sashed, right? So they probably go for a Bug Buzz here. So I'm going to have to Terror Blast. I'm going to Terror, Terror Blast. Terror Fire, Terror Blast. Um, to resist the Bug Buzz because they might be Focus Sashed on this. They might not have been Focus Sashed on the Salazzle. They could be focus sashed on this. So we'll go for the Terror Blast Fire, which is great. And that should take them that right down to the Sash. And also means we resist the Bug Buzz, which is great. So uh, Terror Blast comes through. Like so. Completely roasting the Galvantula. And they do not have the Focus Sash, which is fantastic. So Galvantula goes right down out of there, which is amazing. We might see a forfeit here or a DC. I don't think they can do anything to the superior without, unless they terror something, but I, it, it looks like they don't have the terror for it. Embor comes in. Let's see if Embor can take a Dragon Pulse and actually take his out in return. Uh, it's the Sino, it's the Universe Starter Showdown. Let's go for a Dragon Pulse. I think it's our best move to go for here. So Dragon Pulse comes through. Doesn't quite get the KO on the Embor as they go for a Drain Punch, which is going to do a lot of damage to us and get some health back for them. So... Um, if they have Sucker Punch, it's all over for the Superior, I'm afraid. Um, we can always scout for that, though. We can just go for a Substitute. If they go for a Sucker Punch, then they've, they've lost. Um, so let's go for a Substitute here just to see if they have got the Sucker Punch. Um, they do have the Sucker Punch, which is great. Good to know. As uh, we get up a free Substitute real quick, which is amazing. We are low on HP now, but we, um, we don't really care. Because unless the Feraligator has Aqua Jet, we're all right. And we go for a Dragon Pulse, which is amazing. So Dragon Pulse comes through, takes out the M Ball, which is fantastic. Superior is just putting in the work right now. What an absolute legend. Bastiodon comes in. That's an interesting choice. So uh, Bastiodon, in. I don't think Terra Blast Fire takes it out based on the Leaf Storm damage from uh, neutral. But thing in, we did get up another Leaf Storm. So it might just take it out. Let's go for a Terra Blast. Screw it. Uh, Terra Blast comes through. I'm pretty confident it'll take it out. We've got a Substitute anyway, so I'm not too worried. Like I said, unless the Frelegator has Aqua Jet, which it doesn't commonly run, we should be all right. But the Bastion does go down. So in this video, we have utilized the entire set. We've managed to pull off the Substitute. We've managed to do the, the, the plus four in Leaf Storm and all that stuff. And we managed to pull off the Terra. The Terra was clutched against that Galvantula as well. So I think this is a really good video to demonstrate the power of Superior. Feraligator comes through, which is amazing. Let's go for a Leaf Storm and just take this thing out. And if we miss the Leaf Storm here, that's going to be clutch. But no, we don't miss the Leaf Storm as that Feraligator is out of there. And that is going to be the game. So GG Cal, that was a fun one. Superior really shining that one. What a brilliant game for Superior.
What a game. Superi really dominated my opponent in that one. Time for a bonus battle. The bonus battle is against Cody from the Pokemon Battle Hub Discord, which you should definitely join to battle me and other players as well, by the way. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Cody. So they're going to lead off with Weezing as I led off with my Rotom Wash. Now, Rotom Wash is decent here because they haven't got a ground type. So I can just go for a Volt Switch on whatever I want. And that's going to have to be the Weezing. Uh, I'm actually going to trick this thing straight away as they do stay in and let me trick them. So, and that's great. So we, <laughs> we get a trick off on the Weezing straight away, which is amazing. They get the Choice Scarf. We get the Leftovers, which is nice. And they go for a Will-O-Wisp, which is fine. They're locked into Will-O-Wisp now. So we can just Volt Switch um, on this thing and then just go into something else that doesn't really care about the Will-O-Wisp. Uh, for example, so they do withdraw the Weezing. Um, I was going to say Iron Moth. I just completely forgot the Pokemon on my team. Um, a Sableye comes in as we go for a Volt Switch, which is great. So with Sableye in nice and shiny as well. Look at that beauty. Uh, we go for a Volt Switch. That's going to go ahead and do a little bit of chip damage to the Sableye, which is great. And uh, now we can go into our designated, I don't care about Sableye Pokemon, which is going to be the Nihilo, the Ninetales. Um, or is it? Or is it going to be the Superior? Superior to get a Leaf Storm off. Because our Volt Switch did a lot of damage. I think we go Superior and we Leaf Storm. I think that's what we're meant to do here. So we'll go Superior. They'll probably go for a Taunt or something to stop us from setting up subs. So I'm going to go for a Leaf Storm straight up. They go for a Light Screen. Ooh, so it's a Dual Screen Sableye. That's interesting. And so we go for a Leaf Storm, which is great. It's going to do a nice little bit of chip damage to them. The next one will take them out, so they can't really stay in and go for a Reflect unless they don't want to, unless they don't mind losing their Sableye. So let's go for a Leaf Storm again. They do withdraw the uh, Sableye, and they're probably going to go into the uh, Skeledurge, if I had to guess. Skeledurge is a really good answer to us, because even if we set up a Substitute, they can Torch Song past the Substitute. Um, so that's what they're gonna, probably going to do now. So Leaf Storm comes through. It's obviously not going to do anything because Unaware and Light Screen. Um, so now we have to switch out. So what do we go into against this thing? I'm leaning towards the Iron Moth, but we can't really do anything in return. Uh, leaning towards the Rotom. I might go Rotom just to fire up a Hydro Pump. Even though the light screen's up, damage is damage at the end of the day. Is what I'm thinking. So let's go Bosh. The Rotom Wash. Now we do have the Lumberry on the Salamence. So if they go for a Hex, which is fine. Does a lot of damage. A lot of damage. And we may have to lose Rotom Wash here. Which is unfortunate, but it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. So we go for a pump. We do hit the pump, which is nice. Does a nice little bit of damage. I think that was a crit, right? No, it wasn't a crit. As they go for a slack off. So they're just actually going to stall out. Or they expected us to switch out. One of the two. Um, leftovers is, is going to stop that from happening, though. So we can't be stalled out here. So unless they want to PP stall us. But I don't think Cody would do that. Hydropump comes through again. It's going to do a nice little bit of damage, like I said. Um, they go for a Hex this time, though. That's going to take us out, unfortunately, because of the burn. Um, making it so Hex is really powerful. So that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So we lose our Rotom Wash, but that doesn't mean we're over. You know, based on that Hydropump damage, you can tell this thing is pretty physically defensive. Um, but I'm going to go into Salamence anyway, because I know that we can take this thing out with two Earthquakes. And also we have Lumberry, so we don't really care about the Will-O-Wisp that might be coming our way. So let's see what we're going to do here. So let's go for an Earthquake first and foremost. They do withdraw the Skeledurge. Are they going to go into the Weezing? Weezing makes sense. So with the Weezing in... With the Weezing in, we go for an EQ. That's not going to work because of the Levitate. But we might have an opportunity here. We might have an opportunity. So um, if we assume they're going to go for a Willow... We should go for a Dragon Dance. I'm going to go for a Dragon Dance. I really think they'll go for a Willow here to try and burn our Salamence because they've just seen Earthquake. Um, so we go for a Dragon Dance, which is great. They go for a Strange Steam. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's, not, that's not good. Uh, do we want to Terra here for the Iron Head? I say screw it. Let's Terra for the Iron Head. Let's Terra for the Iron Head. And if they go for a Strange Steam again, at least we can live this time. So we're going for the Terra Steel. The Iron Head should take out the Weezing. And it'll get us a bit ahead of the game. with um, Because we'll have a Dragon Ant Salamence on the field. Uh, that doesn't really care about a lot of the Pokemon on the team. So let's go for an Iron Head. And if they bring the uh, Skeledurge in, we'll be golden. So Weezing does go down to an Iron Head, which is fantastic. I don't think it would have gone down if we didn't Terra there. So it's a good job we did Terra. Sableye comes in again. This thing's probably going to try and burn us, right? Um, which is fine if it does. Or this up a Reflect, one of the two. Let's go for an Iron Head again. 
Um, they do go for a reflect, which is fine. The light screen should wear off any time now. We go for an Iron Head. It should take out the Sableye from here at plus one. So Sableye is going to go down. There we go. It was a crit. Don't think the crit mattered because we were at plus one attack. And it was Terra Steel boosted. So we should be. it should have definitely KO'd there. Braviary comes in. The Braviary is here. So this thing's probably going to want to go. Oh, do, we, do we keep Salamence around? Do we have a switch in? I think we do. I think we've got the Nine Tails as a switch in. Not a bad one. We assume they're going to go for a close combat. We should go into this. Yeah, we should go We should go into Ninetales, assuming that. So um, we can keep Salamence around because it can still Earthquake the Skeletage if we get rid of the screens. So we're going to Vimto now. Like so. And if they're Defiant, we need to be careful with our Defogs for a start. So the close combat comes through. And that's going to do a nice chunk of damage to us. Lowers their defenses, though. So they're probably going to be scared out here. And the fact that they have close combat tells me they probably don't have defog on this thing. So let's go for an Aurora Veil first and foremost. They do withdraw the Braviary. Not wanting to get hit by a Blizzard or a Freeze Dry. And they're going to go into Skeledurge the Gourmet, which is fine. Skeledurge is a fine switch. We go for an Aurora Veil. And that is now up for good. Um, the problem is, not for good, for about 8 turns. So, what we can do here is, we can go into our Iron Moth. Um, all our moves are not very effective against Skeledurge, though, uh, which is annoying. Just going to stay in and go for a Moonblast to get some chip damage off, um, and lower a special attack, potentially. We get a crit, which is nice. They go for a Torch Song, that's absolutely fine. So, Torch Song comes through, it's going to do a nice bit of damage to us. Gives them a special attack boost. And now, we want them to stay in... We want them to carry on doing that, because we have the Iron Moth in the back. So, oh no, I was about to run away. Damn. Uh, let's go for a Encore here. We'll, ca we'll make them go for the Torch Song. I don't want them going for a Slack Off, that's for sure. I don't want them going for a Slack Off, that is for sure. So, we'll get... They go for a Torch Song again. They get to plus two. It's, it's fine. It's terrifying, but it's fine. Terrifying, but fine. And the Vimto goes down. When does the Reflect wear off? Is it this turn? I'm pretty sure it's already wore off. Either way, we can go into Salamence here. We go Salamence. Like so. Get the Intimidate off, not that it matters. Let's just go for an Earthquake. We need to whittle this thing down pretty much. Um, as Earthquake doesn't KO them, but it does put them in range. So Torch Song goes through and takes us out, gets them to plus three. Now we can go into Iron Moth and start doing stuff. So that's that's going to be great. They have already not terrored, right? They haven't terrored yet. So that's something to look out for. But now we can go into the Iron Moth and finish this thing off. The snow does stop. Um, I'm leaning towards Iron Moth. I'm leaning towards Iron Moth. I would go into Superior actually, but it's a bit late for that now. Um, so let's go into this because we can't terror the superior. So that Braviary is a big threat. So we may as well go into the Iron Moth and KO this thing with Fiery Dance to see if we can get a special type boost. So let's go for a Fiery Dance now. They probably let it go down. Fiery Dance comes through. That's going to take out the Skeledurge and it might give us a special attack boost, which would be really nice. Uh, it does give us a special attack boost. It's a 50% chance. So it was pretty good, pretty good odds that it would, uh, go, would go down like that, which is great. So Iron Moth's looking pretty good right now. Salamence comes in. This thing is kind of a threat. It's nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. Um, gets the Intimidate off. They may Terror. They may not. Let's go for a Dazzling Gleam just to play it safe. They do Terror. They do Terror. What are they going to go for? Steel? It's a risky one. Steel is. Ground. Ooh. Terror Ground. So we're still going to get some nice damage off with the Dazzling Gleam at least. We wouldn't have KO'd them regardless unless we went for Energy Ball. But why would you ever go on an energy ball against the Salamence? Uh, they go for a Terra Blast. Is that rock or ground? I think that's ground, isn't it? Why not go for it? Why not have an Earthquake? It doesn't KO because of the Aurora Veil. Um, earthquake would have KO'd though, right? That's very interesting. So let's go for an energy ball. Energy ball comes through. That should take out the Salamence, right? Yeah, it does. So Salamence goes down, which is fantastic. Yeah, Cody, just let me know. I, 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 why, didn't you have, why didn't you have Earthquake on that instead of Terra Blast? That would have definitely worked out better in your favor, I think. But it doesn't matter. It's, at the end of the day, the Iron Moth's doing its Iron Moth thing. Braviary comes in. Is this thing going to be Scarf? No, we're, we're Booster Energy anyway, so we, we don't care if they are. So let's go for a Sludge Wave because it is more powerful um, and it is neutral as well. So we'll go for the Sludge Wave at plus one. 
Nearly gets the KO, but it does get the poison, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing. As they go for a Brave Bird, which is going to take us out anyway and make them go down to the recoil. So the poison didn't matter, at least. The poison didn't matter. Braviary goes down, which is fantastic. We're looking pretty good right now. Now all that's left is the Iron Fawns. Now the Aurora Veil has wore off at a crucial moment. So they haven't terrored. Let's go into Superior and finish this game off. If Superior goes down to a loaded dice pin missile here, then we have got the Scissor in the back with a uh, Bullet Punch. And if we miss the Leaf Storm, then that's going to be crucial. So nice and shiny Iron Fawns comes in. Let's go for a Leaf Storm real quick and take this thing down to a good amount of health. Not going to KO. It does KO. Nice. So Iron Fawn goes down. And that's going to be the game. So GG Cody. That was a pretty fun one. I enjoyed that one very well. Much. G G G. A real nail buyer of a game, that one. I always have great battles against Cody. But anyway, that's the lot today. Feel free to use the team using the code on the screen. And with that being said, I'll catch you all in a bit.